Hello everyone and welcome back to my Ultimate GNSQ series in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video we are going to send the crew currently in orbit around the moon over to Minmus and try to fulfill the contracts that we have for Minmus. In particular we want to rescue Hillbull, send crew to Minmus station, so obviously we'll be docking with the station, and hopefully bring back a green sandstone. So that's a lot to do and we're going to need to send more stuff to do it. For instance we need another lander and uh, we only really have two seats on the spacecraft we have right now, and he'll, therefore Hillbull will be sort of stranded at Minmus until we get something else to pick him up. But we'll set that aside for now. Looking at the other contracts that we have available, there's a rotate the crew of Moon Station, and I feel like we ought to do that. It does require at least one engineer on board, and I think we still only have one engineer. Um, but crew at least two send the new crew and then we have to recover them but that doesn't mean that we can't send them over to Minmus first so maybe we'll do that maybe um, if we pick that up we have to I guess send the new crew before bringing them back I'm not too sure about that as a requirement maybe we could send the crew after bringing them back and it'll still be all right I these contracts don't have a order to them, do they? I don't know. Anyway, thinking about that, I don't want to achieve a rough landing on Minmus, that's for sure. Uh, but a science day from the surface of Minmus seems obvious. Explore Minmus, dock two vessels on or around Minmus seems obvious, so we can t pick that up. That only le that leaves us with just one contract pack, yeah, uh, no, contract slot. Sorry. Um. We have a part that we could recover. That's tempting. It's, you know, valuable, but we, we're not set up for it right now. I think, I mean, ro the rotating the crew is a little bit complicated, but uh, let me just check on our Kerbinauts, the ones that are available. I mean, it'll be interesting. I wanted to do these sort of station sequences. I had always put the crew and station contracts uh, into KSP, but I never really went through with it, basically. Uh, not to any length, so this is actually the first time I'm doing the the whole contract sequence. And so... I mean, Bill's the engineer, our only engineer. Uh, we could probably send the farmer with him. Uh, I mean, we could... Uh, we don't even have an engineer on offer right now. I still haven't gotten rid of uh, USI, so we still have all the... We'll, we'll still have all of the already generated uh, jobs. We just won't have new ones being generated with the farmer, geologist, and all that if we remove USI. But for now, we do have all of them being generated. And yeah. So we might not need to risk Valentina, but we'll probably have to send a farmer along. Uh, all right, we'll 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 try rotating the stuff. We You saw there we had a Moonlander 3, and basically what I did was I removed the cryogenic stage that we tried out last time. I decided it wasn't worth it. It's now got a non-cryogenic stage. That'll be cheaper anyway. So it gives us the performance, um, especially since there is not going to be any boil-off. Okay, uh, so yeah, rotate the crew of Moon Station. We'll try it. I mean, that's what we're here for. So, we're just going to use the same craft that we used before, because it worked. And I think it was actually called Minmus Leo, because it was ultimately going to Minmus. I'm gonna rename it Moon Leo as well. I mean, it's for both. 47,000. The rotation contract's giving us like 80,000. So it's not a, it's not a shoe in but... It'll be all right, I think. Uh, it all depends on our redundancies. Okay, so we'll avoid sending our remaining pilot, and we'll send a farmer instead. <laughs> okay, Dudebus and Bill sounds sounds like a sitcom. Well, there's no cryogenics on here, so we can wait a little bit. Okay, nice and daylight. SA is on, throttle is up, and ignition. 
and launch. And they're off with much thrust to weight ratio. Might want to turn that down a little bit. Okay, booster set. All right, looking good so far. This stage will stop just shy of orbit. Okay, that's that stage separation. And this time I'll remember to get rid of the nose cap. Okay. And we'll coast a little bit. Okay, ign hip, hip, is saving. Ignition. I think I might have wanted to put RCS thrusters down here, but I think it will be okay. Okay, now that is orbit. And we'll probably do a mid-course adjustment to get our descending node to that periapsis, but right now that's looking pretty good. Okay, go. Okay. Well, that's not quite right. Now I'll take that for now. All right. A little mid-course adjustment should do the trick. Okay, that will be a good deal. Now let's do the normal turning for radiation purposes. Will this just be our regular thing, or will this system need more improvements to be a regular transfer vessel to the moon? Okay, make course adjustment complete. Let's just take this one. How is everybody doing? Oh, 15% and 13% radiation. Hmm. Okay, you station 27 kilometers away right now. Okay, where should I dock? I mean, if we remove... The previous crew right now, will it be okay with that? Okay, they're both over here. Well, let's see if uh, we're okay. Supplies aren't great though. We'll have to see whether this is going to be the right crew for going to Minmus with this load. Maybe we need some more supplies to get there. But we'll hold off on that question. Let's get the new crew on. Let's get out of the station turn. Okay, uh, took the new crew. Rotate crew and return home. Well, I, I guess we're gonna have to return home with these two. But first, let's see about Minmus. Let's see if I can plot something for that. That actually works. It would have been better if Minmus was ahead of us. Then it would be more convenient. Right now, it's not convenient. The timing is bad. That's an intercept in nine days. Now it says we have 31 days of each thing, basically. And, well... And how's the radiation? 11 and 17. So this is an initial 300 meters per second, let's say, and another 120 there. Nine days doesn't seem too bad. Okay, well, okay, 10 days, 385 kilometers. Just in case there's something I'm not expecting, I'm gonna quick save here. I'm gonna call this for Jeb, <laughs> because I don't want to lose Jeb. All right, so we will try this. 
make sure that it's notifying me about Ah, uh, the storms are off. I need to be notified about the storms. They still happen, even though their frequency is reduced. Oh, there's the station. Okay, probably a little bit too much there, and we've got another maneuver next, so let's try and get this as close as possible. Alright. Okay, still looks pretty good, but at this point we should pay attention to how good it is. Hillbull is our rescuee, but we don't have a seat for Hillbull right now, so we'll dock to the station first. I think I'll launch the lander. It's a little bit complicated though, but we might as well have it on its way to Minmus right now. I don't know how long it'll take to get there. Probably less time than this. So, alright. Uh, I'll use Curve Alarm Clock. These days they have a stock method for this, but... Oh, uh... The maneuver is only in 18 hours, though. We'll do the maneuver first. Okay. Departing the moon. Our moon station crew of two uh, currently has more than a year of supplies, it says, so that's okay. Don't know about the radiation situation, though. That's different. Making full use of our Terrier engine. Got 15 more minutes left and 33 ignitions. But we obviously won't be using all of that. But we'll, we will have gotten our money's worth. Okay, got it to 0, 0.0 there. Now our back is to the sun again. Okay, now I'm going to add the SOI change alarm. And we'll pay attention to this then. But first, we will launch our lander. Okay, so this is going to be identical to the moon lander that we had launched in the previous video, except this time we are not using a cryogenic stage, we're just using a small Decker stage and keeping it simple like that. So, without further ado, SAS on, throttle is up, and ignition, and launch, and off we go. Maybe we'll rescue Hillbull with this instead of with the capsule with Jeb and John, whatever his name was, John Long. And then maybe we'll just have Hillbull land on the moon, uh, on Minmus, I mean, and get the green sandstone. Okay, booster set. And we'll keep it all nice and simple like that. We're gonna have a lot of extra in this stage. Unfortunately, no more ignitions on those. Won't be necessary though, we certainly have enough in the Decker stage to transfer. And make orbit around Minmus. And the lander has plenty extra too. Really, it is all OP for Minmus. Okay, I think I'll let the core stage go and deorbit it. So, uh, fairings first. And the core stage. Alright. Okay. And yep, we have 2,366 left to transfer to Minmus, make orbit around Minmus, and maybe even pick up Hillbull. Yeah, moon mission up there, that's something we're communicating through potentially. That's weird. I wonder what ever happened to that. Oh, I needed to go. Well, hopefully we'll maintain communication. It is a high quality Decker engine, so hopefully we'll be good. But we do have enough backup Delta V in the lander anyway. Okay, go. Alright, so the Minmus Leo is over there and what I call Moonlander 3, which is actually going to Minmus, is over here. 
but we're going the more direct route so we'll intercept Minmus first and the crew Jeb and John Long will arrive afterwards. Maybe Jeb and John Long don't even need to go there. <laughs> no. I mean, because if we rescue Hillbull, Hillbull can land with this. We only need one crew on Minmus Station. Ah, uh, well, whatever. May as well give them the experience, right? Oh, I guess we should check on their supplies, though. We, I was a little bit nervous about that. Oh, it seems to be all right. Solar panel failed on moon mission. Oh, right after it helped us communicate. Okay, we are in Minmus SOI. To bring our orbit closer. But Hillbull is actually pretty high up. So maybe we'll just go directly for Hillbull. Okay, 3.2 kilometers. Just have to kill off about 300 meters per second. Min misses shadowy right now. Okay, well, there is Hillbull. And our long awaited rescue of him. Okay, we, we are in Hillbull's area. We have switched to Hillbull so that it doesn't mess around with Hillbull's life support. As I mean, it, it says this, normally it should say this and then it will recognize that it actually has it, but I've had it at least one occasion where Kerbal died, so I just want to be sure about that. Biologist, Hillbull is a biologist. Great. <laughs> I mean, nothing against biologists, it's just not what we most pressingly need. But, uh, yeah. Okay, we need to get rid of the rest of this velocity. Okay, Hillwell should be able to do 200 meters. Okay, EVA. No radiation yet. Okay, grab. Oh, no, no, you didn't grab right. You didn't grab right. Board, grab, grab, grab. Board, board. Okay, go up. <laughs> go up, board, board. All right. Uh, all right, fine. Hillbull is in. We probably want a geologist to land on Minmus to find the green sandstone, not a biologist. But first and foremost, we should bring the orbit down. Our station is down there anyway. And um, I don't know if we want to dock her to the station yet. But that will certainly knock out the... But then, but then Hillbull will be read as the station crew. And I'm not... I guess that is what we want. But... Yeah, uh, let's land Hillbull first, but we need to land in a place that has green sandstone. So let me go back to the Space Center and see. Remind myself which biomes that was. Okay, Midlands, Brown Highlands, or Basins. I want Midlands, darn it. Now the easiest... I always get confused about the Brown Highlands or Basins or whatever. So, Midlands. So first, reducing our orbit to something more manageable. And I'll double check the life support on the pod with Jeb and John Long. 22 days it says. And they're four days away. So basically they used what this says is like eight days worth in about four days. So that tracks with the gap between the 40, 24 hour day thing that I have here and the 12 hour day that uh, Kerbal Kerbalism is working off of. So. All right. Midlands probably won't give a new biome. And we need to do some science. I should have slapped some science on here. 
for that contract. But anyway, let's just get into a nice little orbit all around and then figure things out. This seems Midlandish. Let's see. We just need some indication. But oh well, it says here info lowlands. This is a rough area here. Surely Midlands will be something like that. Midlands. Okay. All right. Time to stop dead here. Okay, verify again. Brown Highlands? No! Well, keep going this way a bit more. We're reversing our orbit a bit. I think around here was Midlands. I'm just gotta get rid of this stage. Okay. Separation. Ooh. I was not expecting it to come at me. Okay, one more try with the EVA. Still Brown Highlands. Gosh. Um, this way a little bit more, maybe. Midlands! Okay. Gosh, it's tough. Oh, nitrogen! Yeah, I keep popping her outside and bringing her back in. Please, let there be green sandstone. Maybe the reason why green sandstone is green is because it has some biomatter on it. Then Hillbull being a biologist would be good. You see some stones, but if we can see them from all the way up here, they're probably not the one. Well, it's a bit of a slope. Okay, well, we're here. Mm, crew report is actually new, so I guess that'll suffice for the science data from the surface. Okay. Brown Midlands. Brown Midlands, though. Hmm. I wonder if that's different from Midlands Midlands. Gosh. I don't like this whole brown thing when it comes to... ...to Minmus. I don't even see any brown. I don't know why there are brown things. Probably only have enough nitrogen for one EVA. There might not even be any nitrogen when we get back. I think that's just a random one. Well, we could get a surface sample and everything too. Uh, yeah, we're, we're on the rock and it's not giving us anything, but I can get the surface sample and EV report. Alright, up. Continuing. So we're looking for something more distinctive than that. There's a little spot I have hope for right here, because it seems smaller than the others. Ah, uh, no, it's probably the same. Yeah, it looks like the same sort of thing. Well, there's a little spot there. Uh, it's probably the same thing. I'll come in fully though, we're about halfway through our propellant. I'll just have Hillbull take a break. Oop. Yep. Nothing new there. Okay. So we are 1.6 kilometers away from the pod, and we will start going back.
we've sort of made a triangle, so this path should have new ground to cover. And potentially, if there is any rock, we'll see. Is that a rock there? Very well camouflaged. That would explain why we have trouble finding them. That's different. Okay, maybe this is it. Okay. Pick up green sandstone. There we go. Okay, keep. Alright, back to the pod. Uh, now we have to get back to Kerbin safely. Oh, jeez. And remember not to leave it in any pod. We should probably, if we can, transfer it to Jeb and John Long since they're headed back. We'll leave Hillbull at the station. I don't know if we can make that transfer properly. We'll see. Oh, not climb. Climb is a bad idea. Okay, grab. It only offers board when I'm moving, which is weird. Usually it's only when you stop. No more nitrogen. Yeah, we'll just have to go back to the station. And the station will have nitrogen. Or to the station, not back to the station. All right, so now the ship manifest see the signs? Not really. So I don't know if I'll be able to transfer it or not, or whether it's like permanently attached to Hillbull or something. Data is being moved. Capacity, 25 kilograms. Right. EV report is transmitted. Okay. Anyway, station time. I'll just uh, change the inclination. We'll go right now and then we'll figure things out. So, yeah, we should just go straight east, right? Yes, east. Okay. Up we go. I'm gonna try and meet up with it at that apoapsis there, but... Okay, close enough. We'll figure it out as we go along. Okay, I have not done a particularly good job of rendezvous, but we'll get there. Seven ignitions in 54 seconds on the spark engine. Not great. I forgot to make it a high quality spark again. Well, I sort of think of this as the lander docking port, so I'm gonna go for that instead of going forward here. I forget how to actually transfer stuff into a science lab for processing when there is Kerbalism. Because Turtleism likes to transmit stuff immediately, right? Okay, magnetism and docked. Okay, so we have fulfilled science data from surface. We fulfilled Explore Minmus, which is docked two vessels together. And we fulfilled Send a Crew to Minmus Station. So we haven't quite saved Hillbull yet. We haven't done the rotate the crew yet because we need to bring those two back. We do have the green sandstone, but we haven't brought it back. We basically need to bring stuff back is the key here. And we haven't actually gotten Jebediah or John Long here, but we don't actually need to bring them here is a catch. So uh, next time is going to be bringing stuff back. Uh, now, as far as the... Well, we don't even have a scientist here. Well, Hillbull's sort of a scientist, but... Um, scientist is required. Okay, well, I'll have to explore the use of the mobile processing lab in relation to Kerbalism at some other time. That's another question. We've got lots of nitrogen. I, I'll top off the lander while we can. 
And let's unlock all the supplies <laughs> before I forget to do that. Okay, and Hillbull could stick around here for many years, it says. Adjusted for our 24-hour time, that's still uh, more than a year with the water being the limiting factor there. So, all right, and Hillbull has no radiation still. And let's check on these two. 20% uh, and 14%. So, okay, we are going to wrap it up here for this episode, and next time we'll try and bring everything back and fulfill the remainder of our contracts. It's got to be interesting, but we did at least fill quite a few this time. So, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I will see you next time.